So hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you how you can create thumbnails like Grim, Grey FPS, Flights, etc. Uh, for just just for your Valorant highlights or your normal gameplay videos. Uh, and the things that you require are the software Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, and other other things which I'll provide you in the description. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So yeah, first of all, you have to open your uh, Adobe Photoshop and just create a blank canvas of 1280 into 720 pixels and just open it. And then you have to go to your file manager and just open up your video for which you are going to create your thumbnail and just select a part where it is a still image and your character is just firing on the opponent. Like in my case, it is here. and But I already took it's screenshot so I'm not gonna take it and then just take the screenshot and after that you have to just import that screenshot into the Photoshop so yeah let's do it so yeah now you have to do is that you have to just resize the screenshot so that the agents are hidden and all the abilities which are below are hidden and if you want you can all you can resize it according to you according to your needs now what you have to do is just uh, select this layer and just click Ctrl J and this will duplicate the layer and drag that layer down. It uh, We are gonna use it later. So just you have to click on pen tool here now and now we are going to mask out the gun which is which is holding uh, which is holded by the character and just like this you have to do it and now I'm just gonna uh, just fast forward it so yeah. I'm gonna make a rough selection of it. Now just you have to hit the selection at the top and it will be selected like this. And now you have to hit uh, Ctrl J on your keyboard and this will be duplicated. Just only the gun will be duplicated yeah uh, like this you will get a selection and then we will also make a copy for it so that if it might get delete later so we will be having another copy just in case Now what you have to do is go to the click on the background and go to filters and blur and add radial blur according uh, and amount should be 5 and then hit ok then the radial blur will be added to this background. Now what you have to do is select the layer that is below the, uh, below the main background layer which is the duplicate of it then go to filter and give it a uh, then go to blur and just give it a motion blur of whatever amount you like and set just you can set it according to yourself i'm just keeping it default and then you have to select eraser tool and by selecting eraser tool then you have to uh, increase the size of the brush and then rasterize the to topmost layer and then just d uh, erase the middle portion it will give this type of effect so now what you have to do is click on the this adjustment panel and now you have to choose curves and now just make the curve similar to mine and this will just uh, make the video whole oh sorry make the thumbnail a bit darker so now again click on adjustment and select hue and saturation and just do as i'm doing uh, you have to increase the saturation a bit just like I'm doing and you have to just copy my settings if you want now again hit on adjustments and select and select a uh, color balance and now uh, you can make the colors a bit uh, cooler or warmer according to the vibe of your video 
सो हेयर आई एम गोन डू इज मेक द वीडियो कूलर सॉरी मेक द थमनल कूलर एंड विल जस्ट नाउ वी नाउ यू कैन डू इज जस्ट एड अ टेक्स्ट लाइक ऑल द यूट्यूबर्स डू so for the text i am just going to select a default default uh, font and just i am going to make the anime text uh, which is just like in the game so yeah just you can make the title for your uh, video now after doing this much click on the text layer and just hit fx and now we are going to add a uh, outer glow of black color so here you can just select the color or color and turn it to black okay and then just do it just set the adjustments according to your needs as i'm doing and then you can also just add a drop shadow to make uh, to make the text pop from the thumbnail and also if you are unable to find the appropriate settings you can just copy mine yeah it's just simple now another thing that i'm going to do is just add i'm going to add some brush lights which will make the thumbnail pop and yeah and it will attract more viewers and remember that this part is just optional if you want you can do it if you are if you don't want to do it you can just easily use the thumbnail as it is but it's it's my style that i'm using using these brush lights as it looks great looks great on the thumbnail so yeah you can see here now after adding this i'm just going to decrease the opacity and will and i'm going to add another one so yeah this will i guess look nice now and yeah you can see how the how the whole vibe of the thumbnail has been changed just through these brush lights so yeah guys that's it for today's video and if you want some uh, some other tutorials you can just uh, tell me in the comment section on which type on which topics you want the videos and yeah i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye